Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to chain multiple tone X amps to create a unique sound using the Kushview Element program. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to download the Kushview Element software. You can find the link to this program in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the Kushview Element software, you'll be presented with this screen. Before you begin setting up your Tonex plugins, you must first go to File, then Preferences, then check your audio and MIDI setup. Once that is completed, we can begin setting up Element. Before we begin adding the Tonex plugin to the Graph section, let's first add two more graphs by selecting the menu in the Sessions row and clicking Add Graph. Now that we have three graphs, let's name them. Select the first graph, right-click, and select View Settings. For name, we'll enter Soldano and Orange. Enter the number 1 in the MIDI program section. Select the second graph. For name, we'll enter Deluxe and Vox. Enter the number 2 in the MIDI program section. Finally, select the third graph. For name, we'll enter Hot Rod and Tweed. Enter the number 3 in the MIDI program section and click the Show Graph Editor button in the upper right hand corner. Now that the graphs are set, let's insert the Toe Next plugins. Right click in the editor and select IK Multimedia from the list. Click Toe Next VST3. Close the interface so you can access the node. Right click on the node and select Rename. Enter Soldano and click Rename. Now, right click in the editor and select IK Multimedia from the list. Click Tonex VST3. Close the interface so you can access the node. Right-click on the node and select Rename. Enter Orange and click Rename. Now let's route the plugins. At the top is the audio node that represents your audio interface. For this tutorial, we are using Input 1 for our guitar on the audio interface. We will connect Output 1 into both the left and right of the Soldano node. Repeat for the orange node. Now we will double click the Soldano node and select an amp. We will repeat for the orange node. Now all there is left to do is decide how we want the amps to be routed to the speakers. We have a choice of routing both outputs of the Soldano amp to one side and the orange amp to the other.
With this routing, you will get the Soldano amp out of one speaker and the Orange amp out of the other. If that doesn't suit your taste, you can have both amps mixed by routing the left and right output of each amp to the corresponding pins on the output node. After you have set your Tonex amps, you can also add effects. Simply right click and choose your desired effects. Route the output of Tonex to the input of the effect and the output of the effect into either another effect or to the audio out. We have set up the other two graphs to show how you can have different amps in each graph. If you have a MIDI controller, you change graphs by programming your controller to send PC messages that correspond to the MIDI program numbers set in the graph. If we step on pedal 2 on the MIDI foot controller, it will select graph 2. If we step on pedal 3, it will select graph 3. And if we step on pedal 1, it will select graph 1. I hope you enjoyed learning how to chain multiple Tone X amps using the Kushview Element program. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.